All the talk around the Cincinnati FC is that the franchise expects to move up to compete in North America's top pro league, the MLS, Major League Soccer, by 2020. Judging by Saturday's result on the TD Place pitch, the Ottawa Fury FC won't be sad to see them go. Facing a Fury FC side still in search of its first United Soccer League win in 2018, the Cincinnati 11 looked like a team in a league of their own against a seemingly overmatched Fury FC, absolutely stunning the home side with three goals in a nine-minute span in the second half to post. Lopsided 3-0 win and leave a bewildered crowd of 2,785 guessing just when the Fury might ever win a game. It's incomprehensible that we played perhaps our best half of the season, then in the second half we just didn't come to the game, said an emotional Fury FC head coach Nikola Popovic. First off, we cannot forget Cincinnati is fantastic football team with fantastic players, and their first goal was a fantastic goal, a goal you do not see in many leagues around the world. But when that happens, you must react and we didn't. The second and third goals were mistakes, and there's no reason for that. We had just come from playing our best half of the season. We should have come out even more aggressive. Ottawa Fury FC. Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ottawa Fury FC. Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ottawa Fury FC. Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ashley Fraser, Post Media Cincinnati FC. Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ottawa Fury FC. Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ottawa Fury FC. Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ottawa Fury FC. Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ottawa Fury FC. Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ottawa Fury FC. Ashley Fraser, Post Media Ashley Fraser, Post Media Sadly, the score flattered the Fury FC. It could easily have been 6 or 7 zip. More telling is that the visitors had 12 total shots in the second half to the Fury's 5. And 8 of their shots were on target in the final 45 minutes, compared to just 1 by the Fury. It rightfully could have been a blowout, if 3-0 isn't 1 in soccer. And the Fury FC don't have much time to make adjustments for their next opponent. The vastly improved New York Red Bulls 2 will be at TD Place Wednesday morning for a special school day promotion with kickoff scheduled for 10.30 a.m. Then it's off to Harrisburg, Penn, for a Monday night contest against Penn FC before returning to TD Place May 12th against the Atlanta United FC 2. Both those games would normally be classed as winnable. But then, when a team has one point in five matches and sits last in the Eastern Conference, winnable is a word best not associated with a struggling squad. As for the Cincinnati debacle, Kenny Walker showed absolute genius putting his foot on the ball and carrying it all the way over the head of Fury keeper Maxime Crippo in the 67th minute from an incredible 45 yards out. One minute later, Cincinnati's Corbin Bone headed one into the net and the Fury didn't know what hit them. And it wasn't another seven minutes before Emmanuel Ledesma booted another ball over Crippo's head. From that point on it was only a matter of how many goals Cincinnati might get, the game just turned on its head on us, said Eddie Edward, the hometown Fury defender and assistant captain. You see it, and within 5 to 10 minutes it completely changed, I don't think anyone enjoys losing and our fans have a right to be angry, we get paid to perform and we have got to come together as a team. Nicola tells us it's not about one, two or three captains leading, it's about everyone getting together. And we must to do it fast, fans don't forget Ryan long after the humiliated Ottawa Fury had beaten the hasty retreat to their locker room, Richie Ryan stood at midfield at TD Place looking like the star of the home team, shaking hands with beer slugging fans, hugging the ladies, young and old, signing autographs, posing for pictures, high-fiving with little kids. The former star with the Fury FC did just about everything but kiss babies before he left the field victorious, just as he did in his last home game with the Fury in the North American Soccer League semi-final during the championship season of 2015, I still know a lot of people here, said the Irish footballer and now stalwart with the Cincinnati FC. And it's not just the people who work for the team. I met a lot of people outside of football when I was here and many of them still keep in touch, Ryan's current team is not off to the start they envisioned this season, not even with three wins and two draws against a loss. Cincinnati doesn't have one of the league's highest payrolls just to compete in the middle of the pack in the United Soccer League and five goals in their first five games wasn't cutting it, when you put together a squad like the one we have, you have to have high expectations, said Ryan, while obliging every well-wisher. Even today, after that scoreless first half, I was thinking, here we go again, another one of those days.
We've had lots of chances in our first five games and failed to put them away. Finally, Saturday, we did. We need to be more ruthless burying.